Oh, I'm doomed. Generic control in the deck goes, and we're back with another Jaden animation reaction. Today, I'm doing the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Last week, we did injuries and being sick by Jaden animation. I'll leave that video right up there if you haven't checked out already. Also, gonna be linked down below in the description. I just watched an Alfred video that had Jaden in it where they were donating, or no, money that got donated had them release a random Pokemon from their playthrough, and they were doing a race through Pokemon, I think it was Emerald and uh sapphire i think is what it was or no ruby no is ruby and emerald they were doing a race to see who could get to the first and of course you know jacob alfred's gonna be super lucky right now he has a kidney infection so hopefully he's okay last week's video like i said injuries being sick i asked you about some of your injuries and you could tell by the comment section there were a lot of comments that i just read the entire story some of y'all had some really interesting uh stories about how you've been injured and times you've been sick and things that ways you got hurt well i read every single one of them like i read every single comment on this video as well and i replied to a lot of them as well so hope you had a wonderful day hopefully i can make a tiny little better shout out to patrons thank you the videos daily love tonight but paywall channel couldn't do this without them also this saturday i'm going to be doing a q a a live q a panel over on my twitch with some big voice actors like uh if you know hasman hotel it's a it's a murder drones cask voice actor thing but they've also been in like has been a tell one dude's been a demon slayer it's absolutely insane hope to see you there uh give me some stories for the worst things that ever happened to you please let me know in the comment section i'll definitely read it and definitely probably respond to it if it's something really interesting but let's go ahead and jump into the worst things that ever happened to me so imagine waiting for this. someone it's to say Christmas the worst thing that happened to them was them finding my channel. Bed and everything is prepared for the perfect Christmas morning. Chestnuts are roasting on an open fire. That sounds the cookies dangerous. are out. The house is silent and calm. Everyone has the standard things on their Christmas list. What? Puppies, Nintendo nope. Switches. Nope. For father to finally find milk. But yours is different. All your I've life never wanted any of those things and for... have been fascinated by insects you were teased in school for catching ladybugs in the bushes ostracized from everyone for gleefully watching Dead. the grasshoppers i do pause the lawnmower when there's a trying to repress your love over. for bugs but you're finally embracing it this year is different you're going to ask santa for, for the one thing that brings you joy in a puppy life or tarantula ants you tuck yourself into bed awaiting the early morning to see if your wish comes true. And as you're thinking about parenting your future ants, your eyelids feel ants. heavy as you drift off to sleep. You don't know also, how many hours have passed, but you're best. suddenly awakened by a strange sensation. Your body is burning, flaring up, I don't even itching think it's a everywhere. Yeti. The worst itching you've ever experienced ants. in your life. Fire ants. What's happening? Is it a Christmas miracle? Did you finally receive the ants you were desperately hoping for? No. Your skin is getting more and more itchy by the second. Is it fire you're in the ants? most discomfort you've ever felt, and you feel like you're gonna cry from pain. Oh. No doubt about it. I mean, I've had ants. I've been attacked All by fire over. ants before. You My cousin the kicked to find an eight oh, hill of them. It's not a whole colony of ants attacking you. It's just one. It's hives. Oh. So back to me, I've never had hives until me. last December, oh. and it was the worst thing that's ever physically happened to me. Around the night of the 21st, I was relaxing okay. and playing video games on my couch. With Ari. Ari was on me because it's snuggly and nice, but oh. about an hour or so in, I started feeling itchy around my neck and shoulders where good. he'd been sitting. I didn't think much of it, but when I was getting ready for bed, oh, I realized no. the area that was itchy was actually kind of red. On paper, that's not that good. seems a bit like... Huh, that's not really normal, but <laughs> that's you okay. scratch yourself all the time and get a bit red. I just that's thought, true, yeah. eh, Ari's nails are probably a bit too long and irritated my skin. Well, I'll it probably wasn't tomorrow. a circle like and that. Well, maybe that. it might have been. 4 a.m., I'm woken up by more itchy. I itched it, and it got double itchy. Double itchy? Oh, well, that doesn't seem right. I went to the bathroom <laughs> to see what was up, and the area that double was down irritated on before was even more red. And maybe a bit bigger this time. Uh, I can't what remember. It was 4 a.m. I was like, uh, that's not great. And then went back to bed. Oh I my mean, god. There wasn't anything I could do about it. I didn't have any anti itch cream or anything. All I've got Take is an bath. expired bottle of mini ibuprofens and a dry out cleaning ibuprofen. wipe. The next morning Actually, after a bad night's only sleep, thing I'm I got to, out of bed. Because that's and, whoop, so interesting. It spread to my back. Yep. That's like it's myself. Good. Oh god. Did I do anything about it? Nope. Nope. I the was American like, way. Whoop. I sure hope this cures itself somehow. I'm going to go to work Not gonna now. Not going to go to a but doctor. But after like an hour of sweating from discomfort and getting nothing done, I decided. Yeah, I should probably go to urgent care. Yeah. So I went to urgent care. Yeah. Have you eaten anything new or that you're allergic to? No. no. Have you taken any medication that's new or you're allergic to? No. No. Have you been bitten by any bugs you might be allergic to? I don't think so. No. 
Hmm. Uh, Looks like dermatitis. So I got a dermatitis what? diagnosis, picked up the pills and lotion it? he prescribed me, and by the time I Did got it? home, I was so itchy it started to feel like actual pain. I ran oh. into my room and immediately took the medication and started hoping I would feel better Why'd soon. You even wait to All I get could home? do was lay on my bed and do nothing because every time I moved or His touched pain. something, His it would pain. send shocks of pain yeah. and irritation down my body. And I preferred not to have that. I decided yeah. to call my friend to tell them what was happening to keep my 40%. mind off everything and use them for moral support because I was going crazy. After That's maybe fair. an hour, I was like, actually, I think I feel absolutely worse. Everywhere worse? I put the lotion was even more red and itchy. It was spreading to my legs and hands and I felt fire. like I provoked the devil. This must be the karma for swearing that one time. I told my friend, Wait, what? I'm in so much pain and discomfort, I can't think straight, and I've been sitting on the floor not being able to move for 30 minutes. What should I do? Uh, go to the think. hospital? You think so? That's expensive. Yes, go to the hospital. I don't know. Maybe if I just wait a bit more, go to, go, the, hospital. Go to the hospital. Okay. It's I arrived at the it's hospital expensive. and she never in financially the best recovered I could because the feeling of my shoes and clothes rubbing against my skin That's made me my want foot to right cry. Now, they were really busy, so game. I had to sit on a bench in a hallway for about an hour. I was finally taken to a bed, given a shot along with a mystery pill, <laughs> and about 40 minutes later, I felt better. That's but good. they kept me there for four more hours just to be safe. By the time I got home, I was sighing with relief. It like, felt so good to not be in total so body what pain cost it? and wanting to claw my skin off. Ooh. I'd forgotten that feeling. The hospital gave me a new prescription a because they were right like, now, I pretty sure you have death. hives, not dermatitis. How but I didn't get I... it filled because it was late okay. and I figured I could just get the new medication tomorrow since I was feeling all right. No the good thing was regret. I was feeling better and had the right diagnosis. But the scary thing that got me worried was Ari. this all started when Ari was on me. The flare up started in the exact area he well, was he, sitting yeah. on the other night. So this... if I hadn't eaten or done anything different so from my Ari? usual day to day life, could that mean I developed developed a really bad allergic reaction to him. Oh no. Uh, so that terrified me a bit. Anyways, I had plans to see my family for Christmas and was worried okay. that I'd have to miss my flight because no. of this, but things seemed all good now. 1 yeah. a.m., woke Ping. up, itchy. It yeah. was back and ready to absolutely just kick my teeth in. I wasn't freed from this hive's curse. No. I'd only escaped its grasp Temporarily. for a few Oh hours. god, that's gross. It wasn't at its worst yet, but I knew it wouldn't take long to get there, so I raced to the nearest 24-hour pharmacy to pick oh, up my new prescription, places. took it, and then just got an Uber to the airport because I couldn't sleep. Oh, that's fair. Early flight? No. Not really. I'm just getting there early. <laughs> well, it's always good to be early for flights. When is it? Tomorrow. 3 p.m. I tried a. to get a bit of sleep in the airport, but eh, no. it didn't work. The good thing was that the prescription was doing a relatively good job at keeping back the hives. I could yeah. still feel the itchy, but it was like muffled, M if that makes sense. Itchy. I got on my flight no problems and landed in Arizona to my very Ooh. calm parents who were like, Hives? Who are you okay? How did you, you get okay? hives? Are you okay? The hives had been manageable the whole day until I was getting ready to go and to bed. Bang. And then It's like sunburn. Sunburn's worse at this night. This time, like worse trying to sleep. than ever. I thought I'd experienced I pain today, before, but the hives were mocking Honda. me. The previous ones were teasers. This time, they were dishing up the main course. Everything was put into mega gear. Oh, God. It's X from Resident Evil 2. It's close to my channel to be playing that See for the first time. See if you like this. First Resident Evil game I ever played. Off to the hospital we went, 12 o'clock at she night. Went to the we arrived at a normal hospital first, and by the time we arrived, I could barely walk. I was in so much pain and agony. Oh. I shuffled in, hunched over like I was 95 years old and about to just fall over and turn to dust immediately. Nice. Also, I was actually crying at this point. Oh. No. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This hurts. Just, boo -hoo. No, it was nah, no. It was this just time like, was like yeah, make it stop. Time to cry now. <laughs> time to cry. I wasn't having a good time. We Obviously. sat there for maybe 40 minutes and no God, one was helping us. So my dad asked how long they estimated the wait would be, to which they said an hour. So we were like. Uh, hour more. My dad decided to take me to a local urgent care because they've got a family friend who works there. Oh, it that's was better. more familiar and also probably less busy. We arrived yeah, and had a bit of a wait, but I was finally admitted a a into wait. a room. The what? doctor walked in and was like, Yep, looks like hives, and Thanks. stuck me with an EpiPen. I'm lucky oh. enough to not have any really bad allergies like peanuts or something. I know yeah. a good amount of people who <laughs> are like, lol, if I sniff the smallest dust fragment die. of a peanut, my body will just give up on me. So they have an EpiPen on them at all times. I'm so allergic, to, allergic cats, to cats, but they just make me sneeze, so I've never experienced the magic of an EpiPen I mean, before. ibuprofen just makes and my, my uh, God, upper lip swell. That thing was like Jesus just being injected straight into my blood. Within seconds, 
my body started feeling well, that, better, yeah, they're supposed to and fix all it. my hives cleared up immediately. If you've wow. never almost died from an allergic reaction, Wait, I totally she actually, hope you have like, one just so you can experience the magic of an EpiPen. What? I mean, don't go out of your way to do that. I die, but I'm just uh, saying, if you do, anyway, I, that's solved. wild. The doctor didn't really say anything else. He kind of just gave me the EpiPen and sent me on my way when he okay. saw I was doing better, which fair enough yeah, i went to I mean, bed in relief finally it was all over i can have so a nice christmas after happening? all with my family what caused it? and that live on in the, peace that like kept it 8 a.m continuing to go woke up hives all over this time i wanted to just close what is, my eyes what is again the issue and perish oh oh this one this was the worst oh it no had ever oh been. no i didn't even know it was possible to experience <laughs> this level of itchy combined you admit with that a new pain. level i was in awe it's amazing how absolutely torturous this pain is right now I and i haven't even been stabbed the day before when i said it was in mega gear and the main course no i was kidding this yeah, was no. one of those meals where they give you the appetizers and the main course but surprise, the dessert is a knuckle sandwich. All the uh, hives I've, I've never the had a meal like that. We're like this one. Let's <laughs> right get now. this one. Let's get I was covered in bumps and dot. red. My mom looked at me right before we were about to go to urgent care. <laughs> and her like, face was oh like, God. I don't think there's any words that could describe how absolutely abhorrent and atrocious I felt. The itchiness was so extreme, it felt like needles all over. Uh, yeah. Every time something just grazed my Dang. skin, it felt like, yep. This is, I'm, it's I'm time to die. die. See y'all later. <laughs> Arrived at urgent care. Couldn't move. Looked like a boiled disease <laughs> shrimp. This time we got Dr. Cruz, our family friend I mentioned earlier. Yeah. He's super nice and caring and an Confused, amazing probably. doctor to go along with it. First of all, I got another EpiPen. Yay! Oh, and then God. he prescribed me like four new medications, none of which I remember the names wow, of. Wow, those are some but names. But one of them was steroids. Ooh. I can now say I've been on steroids don't, don't. before. I mean. So yeah. I can probably beat you all in football now. I'll cut the, the fat and just kind of say, steroids, yeah. the medications Dr. Cruz prescribed me were it. They were the ones that blocked the hives and helped me recover. I've been okay. free for the first time in three days. Oh, and they three never came days back after that. Pain. I took some blood tests and turns out I didn't test positive in any allergic reactions they looked so for. What? I was able to come home and Ari didn't make me flare up, so I wasn't I, allergic to him. I, that was a huge relief. What? I had to Is seriously consider if I would have to get rid of Ari if he was the one giving me hives because I just couldn't live with hives that extreme. Yeah. But it wasn't, so we're good. The only thing we could conclude stress was levels? it was just caused by a huge buildup of stress. Oh, I've been really busy and burnt I'm out from doomed. a bunch of conventions and traveling up until that point, I'm so they doomed. said... Yeah, stress combined with an immune system glitch is probably what oh, I don't caused think I have it. an immune system glitch. We I don't know what be, else it could be. Then. Okay. And we're like, all right. <laughs> And I haven't had hives since. So more okay. of the story is These take hives. breaks before your immune nope. system nope. turns on you. Because let me tell you, your I'm immune system 27. does not hold back. Just wanted to make this clear. Okay. I'm all good now. <laughs> this happened back in December, and I've and been fine ever since. So don't June. worry. Oh, okay, I've yeah. been doing well in terms of also, convention 2020, this is like COVID. Well, mainly because I haven't on? gone to any because they're all canceled. But yeah. hey, it works. But yeah, in the future, I think I'm going to have to stop going to some conventions just because it's getting more and more hard to handle I them. Go to I enjoy being God, able to, to see to and meet you guys God, in person, so fun. but yeah, it's getting really hard for me because there are a lot to handle for me mentally and physically. Anyway, thank you yeah. for watching the video. Hopefully <laughs> Shut. it didn't Shut. freak you out or anything. I think the reason I hated hives so much I mean, is because Alfred itchiness is something right I now. cannot handle. I much prefer being in actual pain than being in unbearable itchiness. I don't know if that's a common preference or not. Uh, uh, let me know what you prefer. I mean, I'm in both most All right, of the see time. see you later. Oh, man. So what is the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Do you have any experience with hives? So it was literally just... Her body was upset because of the immune system. Like, that was her immune system's reaction to it, you know? That uh, be her being, like, really, really stressed out. Let me know what the next Jane Animation video should be down in the comment section. You see, when you agree with definitely like it to let me know that you also want that one as well. It's kind of like a way to vote for it. I'd really appreciate it if you did that. Like I said, on Thursday, it's going to be a Alpha Rad and Jade and Pokemon video that they did together. Uh, and Saturday, I'm going to be... Oh, also, Saturday, Dragon Ball Z Bridge episode 14 with Kirby. My best friend goes live. And I'm going to be uh, live streaming that Q&A panel with Elise Lovelock, Michael Kovic, Dave Dixon, and Sean G. 
Chiplock, I believe. So that's going to be awesome. You can definitely come in and ask questions uh, in the chat, and I'll definitely try to relay as many as possible. It's going to be going on for like an hour, hour and a half or so. So I would definitely probably get a chance to have your question answered. It's going to be a fun time. Hope to see you there. Like I said, you can follow me on Discord. I'll be I'll notify everybody in the announcement chat with Nat, everybody. That's the only time I add everybody in my Discord server is when I go live, which I do it four times a week. But I stream four times a week, and it's always a fun time. But... The worst thing that's ever happened to me. God, what is the what is the worst thing that's ever happened to me? Let me see. Um, my channel getting deleted that really sucked, but I did have a great community that uh, stuck with me through it and helped me rebound really, really well. Um, what is the worst thing that's ever happened to me? If we're talking injury wise, I mean, a couple like last like two months ago, my car there was a chair in the middle of the road, and I had my first car accident. That was fun. I dodged that and swerved into a wall. Went nose first into a concrete wall at 60 mile an hour in my 2006 Honda Accord. And I went to a junkyard today to fix it, and that's why I'm sunburned. Yay. I only got a headlight and taillight, and I still need a front bumper, rear bumper, and a fender, and a wheel. Because uh, I already got one wheel, but the other one's bent. Oh, man. But let me know. I look forward to reading your comments. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope you subscribe. But until next video, take care, and keep the music. We're playing.